Hey guys, today I uh, decided to kind of compare and review my two favorite um, adventure pants. It's the uh, Fjallraven Keb trousers and the Fjallraven uh, Keb gaiter trousers. So they're pretty similar but they also have some pretty uh, significant differences. Um, whenever I'm buying stuff I kind of have trouble making decisions and I had a really tough time deciding which pair of pants uh, was the better option and as you can tell I ended up buying both but if anyone's in a similar situation I'm just going to explain the differences between the two. So first off it's a super heavy duty pant um, although it is expensive you know this thing is probably going to last your entire life if it needs to. Um, the only thing I can imagine happening is maybe you know this stretchy fabric getting torn or something but still it, it feels pretty substantial so as you can tell there's two different fabrics there's the G1000 which is their like signature material super durable and then these other sections here are actually like some sort of stretchy material so they're super comfy to wear um, and um, <clears throat> reinforced in all the right parts like in the butt and then all the parts that are moving um, kind of breathe a little bit better with that stretchy fabric um, <clears throat> so yeah two main differences obviously um, the Keb gaiter pants have a zipper so they're basically convertible into shorts um, whereas these other ones are obviously just pants um, now between the two, in terms of just walking, uh, the Keb is much more comfortable, um, mainly because you don't have this zipper, you know, above the knee, which, you know, you can definitely feel no matter what. Um, another thing is that, um, I don't know if you can see it in this video, but um, the leg is actually sewn in like a... A t tapered to like a bent position so it's super super comfy to walk now this one also has you know just one of those but over here we got three different um, you know angled leg things another thing that's interesting about the regular keb trousers is there's this pocket right here on the front under the knee and if you want you can actually fill this up with like a military knee pad I know they sell them on Amazon just like a flat foam square and I would imagine if you're working or if you have like you know you're climbing around on rocks or something um, it would be pretty nice actually to have a knee pad I haven't tried it myself but um, it does have the space for it whereas um, the gator pants do not um, another big difference is um, the bottom where the you know the bottom openings of the pants original keb has this uh, kind of like button system so there's three different buttons down here so you can tighten it around your leg however tight you want it um, around your boot um, and there's this metal hook so the metal hook hooks on to the front lace of your boot and then the other part gets tightened around and that way there's no debris or anything uh, that comes in when you're walking and it is super nice the only thing about that however is uh, I went hiking once and was doing some like pretty intense downhill like basically walking down a hill I shouldn't have been walking down and this put a lot of stress on my shoelace and it almost actually ripped the lace off um, so I would maybe suggest using the second or third boot lace up so that it's not um, extremely tight on your lace otherwise it could rip um, so these original keb pants have a opening for you know air down near the calf as well as one on each hip um, can't tell you how crucial those are those are awesome um, however this material does get super hot um, I went hiking in the summer in Norway and I thought it was going to be freezing and I brought this pair of pants 
but you know a few times during those days I really wished that I had the ability uh, to zip off the shorts um, the difference in size um, this pant runs super long uh, I think they actually make a long and a regular version of the keb pant um, this is the regular version but it's still pretty long um, and this one, the gator, it actually feels even longer. Um, this kind of has like a baggier look. Uh, in terms of the two, which one I think looks cooler, I think it's obviously definitely cooler looking to not have the zipper like hiker pants. Um, but at the same time, when these legs are zipped off and this is just a pair of shorts, it's like my favorite pair of shorts. So like in the jungle in Panama, I loved this pair of pants because it's so, or this shorts because they're so burly. They still have the open, um, you know, zippers on the side. Um, and obviously this is probably the best pair of like adventure shorts you could ever want. Um, I think it is a little bit nerdy to have um, the zippers across. And on the back, I guess this is what makes the gator, the gator, um, but it's got these like uh, elastic draw cords. So I guess the concept is, if you want to unzip the the legs and not have to actually take your boots off, um, you can just kind of leave them hanging around your calf and tighten this up, and then you know kick away whatever brush or foliage you're walking through. Um, while keeping this just kind of like tied on. But the thing is, I mean, this does look kind of silly. I wouldn't walk around in public with like, I mean like outside of nature with like these plastic things hanging off my knees. Um, that's just not my favorite look. Um, but yeah, another difference in the bottom of these compared to the bottom of the other one, um, it still has this metal hook. Um, and I wish I could explain it better, um, but I believe you're supposed to actually use your shoelaces and tie through uh, the pant to keep it on the shoe. Um, I've never actually done that, but you can tell there's uh, openings here for the laces. Um, if somebody can comment, um, you know, a better way to explain that, that would be helpful. Um, the pockets are awesome on both pants. Super heavy duty buttons. The one on the left hip has a zipper pocket. So I actually use this for trash more than anything. Um, a lot of people say it would be good for valuable. Sometimes, I mean, yeah, if there's something super valuable, I could put it in there. But when I'm like hiking around, this is kind of like my trash compartment because nothing else can um, fall out. And that's important to me at least. Um, on the other side, um, there's an inner black mesh pocket. I think this was originally designed to fit a pack of cigarettes. One of the uh, store employees told me that back in the day. But um, yeah, this will kind of hold something in place, cell phone or whatever. These snap right in. Um, there's two like carabiner loops on the front belt loops. I've never actually used that, but I guess, you know, you might be able to find a use for that. One thing about this material and the waist is that uh, it, it is fairly stretchy. So you're not going to want to go out in the wilderness without a belt with this pair of pants, even if it fits you perfectly. Um, my friend Chris went trekking without a belt and his pants were falling off pretty much the whole time. Fjall Raven does actually make an awesome trekking belt, which I'll put a link to. I actually might have it here. I don't have it at the moment. Um, super nice trekking belt that's a little bit of a stretchy material as well, but it's super flat and just a really simple plastic buckle. Um, which is like the perfect, perfect hiking belt. Um, so if I could do it all over again, which pair of pants would I buy? I don't know. It's a really tough call. 
I kind of wish that I had um, the regular Keb trousers in the black or in the olive color because I think it's an amazing color. The black is, you know, it's kind of been done enough. Uh, they kind of look like work pants or like you're like an electrician or something. Whereas this has more of like a mountain man like burly look. But I will say I love having this color in the shorts. Uh, but it is a trade-off. I don't really like walking around, you know, not on a mountainside with any sort of zip-off pants. I think it's kind of nerdy. Um, but I love having the shorts. So if you're in a hot climate, you might want to go with the option to have the shorts because you might end up wearing the shorts more often anyways. Um, if you're guaranteed to be in a place that's super cold, obviously bring these. Um, another thing I should add is it's definitely not waterproof. Um, you can like impregnate them with the wax. What they say, you know, you're supposed to like wax it on and then iron it in and that'll like make it more waterproof but uh, I don't know if you're gonna be in the snow or if you're gonna be somewhere where it's gonna be guaranteed raining you might want to take rain pants um, and I think rain pants might actually be significantly lighter than these um, these are definitely pretty heavy-duty pretty weighty um, so I'm sure you can find maybe another YouTube video where there's people wearing them or you can look at the models, sure. I mean, it looks like a pair of pants. But in terms of the technical differences, that's all I can think of at the moment. Um, main differences being the bottom. You know, I really like this the normal keg, keb bottom um, better than this loop thing. Um, um, I have tried to tighten this too much and it